We begin at four with flash flooding in Greeley. This afternoon, the city saw three to four inches of rain in the span of an hour. And now we're getting reports of street flooding and stalled vehicles across the area. It's not just Greeley. Greeley's getting it now, but much of Colorado is under a flash flood watch from the Wyoming border all along the I-25 corridor down to Colorado Springs. Of course, we are watching the weather across the state as the rain comes down. And we're going to get to Kathy with her forecast in just a minute. First, though, we want to get right out to Mark Salinger, who is live in Greeley. And Mark, tell us what you're seeing. Yeah, Tom and Tim, like you said, three to four inches of rain in about an hour or so. That's what the National Weather Service says. And that is what dropped all of this water behind me here. I want to step out of the camera and show you a little bit more. We're right in downtown Greeley at 10th Avenue and 10th Street. And there's a lot of water, several inches deep, right in the middle of the road, as well as covering parking lots. We see a ton of crews from the city of Dreely going around and trying to keep the drains open, trying to make sure that there isn't anything blocking the drains that would prohibit all the water from getting out from the streets and blocking the streets. There's a car, as you can see right now, is several inches deep in the middle of water and right behind it on the church, the First United Methodist Church uh, in Greeley, you can see that there's a water level mark of the high water mark that probably came right after the storm where that was several inches higher than it is right now. So the water seems to be receding as we speak. However, it is continuing to rain uh, right now and Right now, the city of Greeley, as well as the Greeley Police Department, has several streets blocked off all throughout the area as crews work to drain the, uh, the water from the street. There are several screw, uh, crews that are working to uh, clear the pipes and the drains from the area, as well as uh, police officers that are rerouting traffic from the area. But all of this, Tom and Kim, came in about an hour or so, three to four inches of rain in a very short amount of town, and that's what caused all this flooding. Yeah, no just too much. Yeah, too much, too <laughs> fast. All right, Mark, we'll check back with you in just a bit.